Hey guys, it's Kellyo97 here with a Thanksgiving-like special of an Oblivion video. Now I know you're probably all thinking, well, we're in, like, we're in, like, Skyrim by now. Why do we care about your Oblivion videos? Because I still think Oblivion's fun. I've got a bajillion mods installed. Some of them I had to uninstall because they were not so compatible. And this first mod you're going to see, I have no idea what mod it is. I don't know if I broke Oblivion or something, but I always go back in because I want the robe. Because I will be playing a mage character. And apparently if I'm the demigod class of one of the companion mods I have, I cannot get the companion. If I am this class, I cannot get the companion. So, I'm going to be my usual class. Which is an Argonian. We'll name it Kelly. Okay. Turn. I'm not going to do much with it. I'm just going to go with spines. All the way out. Age. Young as ever. And dark. Because their face gets fatter or something. Okay. This is how it's going to be. Yes, I want to play Argonian. I hope this doesn't run too bad. It says I'm running like 40, 50 frames when I'm doing this, but during the game I'll probably lag a bit. But try to see past that. I'm going to be playing a mage. I'm going to be playing a special kind of mage, because I've got this thing called the unarmed skill, so I'm not going to be using any armor. See, demigod class. I would use it, but it has marksman and sneak, and I like making my own thing. Do actually... Eh, yeah, cause, no, cause, oh, that one. Intelligence, willpower, okay, not alchemy, alteration, conjuration, destruction, hand-to-hand, -hand, which is going to be my attacking thing. Actually, no, I'll use weapons. Mythicism, restoration, and... And security? security? No, because I'm going to be playing a mage and I have ways around that. Not mercantile. What should I choose? Alchemy. I'm going to name this... Thanks. It is Thanksgiving Day after all. Let's see what it looks like. I think it go. I don't think it really goes by where it is. I think it goes by letter, but I'm not sure. So, for some reason, he looks like that. I'm not sure why. You would think he'd look more like a mage, but no. See, it doesn't start you off in prison. So, I don't know what mod does that. And, you know, I don't really like it. But I don't mind it at the same time. So, you get the Amulet Kings. And, of course, like everything else, a dream happens. Because mods always do dreams. And you basically get every item in there. Oh, and for some reason, there's a giant mud crab. I have a GUI thing. I wish this would get out the way. Uh, let's go to that. Why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, mysterious scroll. I'm not sure what this mod is. The scroll, whatever. That's one of the companions. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it still is weak, but I guess it just got oversized by something. I have no idea. Don't really care to know. Crap me. La 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 la. So it goes through giving me every item that was in there, basically. Well, partially every item. So we're gonna go back in here. Cause there's something I want. I mean, I don't want to look like this the whole game. So we're going to put that right there. Oh. Let's go down. Necromancer. Gotta wait to get my necromantic points. It's going to be my first one, and you'll see what my second one's going to be. I'm going to get Bonecraft. Corpsecraft. Fleshcraft. I'm not sure what Fleshcraft does. Let's see, next. 
if you guys like this, this might turn into an LP. This makes it so that crime's easier to do. I mean, really, what person can see, like, 3,000 feet away? I'm going to set it to 1,500. And hearing's only going to be 1,000. Yep, 1,000. Uh, search timeout, it's going to be two hours. Uh, guards follow player. Done. Yes, they can arrest civilians. So if they catch a civilian doing something. Okay, done. Next. This is going to be my second thing. That makes it so that I can um, strip flesh of stuff, I think. That's the wrong thing. It's this. So, scavenge corpse, strip flesh. Not sure what those do. We'll find out. I can't believe I missed. Yeah, spells seem to travel faster. Let's get out this. Not sure if you have to have it. I also have a... Inferior bo I've never actually crafted anything like that. It's a sucky dagger. But I mean... I have a lightsaber mod. It makes basically everything have a lightsaber. Um, Shields count as armor. If I can find it. Like, yeah. Shields count as armor, therefore I can't use them. So if I do this. Yeah, you're wearing armor, you're blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm going to take off the armor. This crafty knife actually does no damage. Hi. Flame on, rat. Flame on. And this necromatic knife adds um, healing. Let's see if strip flesh will work on this. That. That. I think that's strip flesh. No, it's scavenge corpse. Cool. That doesn't work on. It only works on, like, humans, I think. But those are part of that mod. I think that mod's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. See, he's got a lightsaber. Boom! Well, I don't know what it is, but something in here makes it hard to add or aim stuff. Take all. And then five. Four. I think you can... Oh, no, you can't do that to these guys. See how it's all awkward when you crouch and everything and cast a spell like that? Just kind of... Yeah. Like, what are you aiming at? I have a mod that makes the that makes spells do much more damage. But they also cost more magicka. So I also have a mod that gives you more magicka and also gives you more encumbrance. Because I hate having to go through dungeons and leave for encumbrance. So let's get this necromancer out. I can still block. See with my knife? Boom. It's a lightsaber, which looks pretty cool, I mean. Get his stuff from him. See, it doesn't give you this stuff. Give me your stuff. There's a rat down there. Miss. Oh, it's a distance spell. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I could do it on a living creature. So there's like this Jedi sound, or this sound whenever you do that. But that goes along with another mod I have. Well, not exactly, but the other one's a Jedi mod work in progress. It only has a bunch of overpowered spells that I'll probably show off, but I won't use. At least not all the time, anyway. They are pretty overpowered. They're OP to the max. One does like 500 damage within 20 feet, so. This is locked, which means I have to use the console. Unlock. Use the console by pressing the key right under escape if you don't know that already. Okay. I do know how to use lock picks. If it goes up slow, it's coming down slow. Go. I was going to see if you could do this on a living person. No, you can't. Can't do that on a living person. Though. Whoa. Oh, he turns all awkward, and now he's all, like, 
his clothes just like burned off. Oh, that's a problem. For some reason, there's this like nude mod or whatever. Mm. Which means I'll have to be careful. Not even sure where it came from, but you know. I, sca I scavenged an eye from this assassin. It's like I won't be able to just steal their clothes all the time. I'll have to be the careful. Go back through here. Cleared all these guys out. Aww. So I will be getting companions. I think there's three companion mods I have installed, plus a pet shop. I don't know where the pet shop mod is. Um, I know it's there. That's all I know. So now I got a ton of mort flesh. Like, a ton of it make some damage fatigue stuff. Ooh, what does this do? Ooh, light and night eye. Yeah, I can see two things now. Okay. It's pretty cool. These look like lightsabers. These are boring lightsabers. This one is cool. And it goes with my new robes. But... I don't care for it. I want... Not that. I'll give this probably one of my companions. I could use this. Eh, it sucks. Once I get higher level bone craft, it'll do better. So I'm running at like... 10 FPS right now, which is about the same that I run at Minecraft. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know if you guys can hear the volume. It's kind of quiet for me. But if I go out and leave the game, for some reason, it crashes Minecraft. Probably because of all the mods. So I can't leave. I also have the Shivering Isles DLC. Uh... The only other DLC I really kind of want is the Spelt Tomes, but I can't afford it, and I don't feel like buying it. Jumpy, jumpy. So, I'll go get the one spells. I'm not sure if I'll be fast traveling in this yet. Oh, and let me show you another one. This uh, colorful map, but it makes my GUI glitch. Uh, so I don't know, but it's a colorful map. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, some things disappear, and I'm sitting there like, what? So, I'm not sure. Like, they'll just reappear, and then when you go over something, sometimes they'll do that. I'm not sure why. It's just sketchy. Prison. So, is this the prison? Yes. Prison district. They need a whole district for prisoners. What does that say? Yeah, you see this spell is, like, really costly now. That makes up for my, um, mana thing. Oh, yeah, there's certain effects that you could use that just suck up magicka. Instead of you casting them repeatedly. So there's that. That's kind of fun. And here... Next, lockpick mold mod. I like this mod. This allows you to take your gold, your gold, and when you equip it, it does lockpicks. And its damage seems like it's random. See, user of the force. He's the Jedi guy. Force choke. And you see, they all cost zero mana. Telekinesis, fortify speed, makes you run insanely fast. Command things, force jump, makes you jump really high. Shock damage, 500 points in 20 feet on target. So you do have to hit something. I don't think you can just hit the ground. I'm not sure. But let's try this thing out, okay? Let's try these out. I actually like this one. I don't think it's too overpowered. Actually, it's pretty overpowered. It drains 100 health. Okay, so save... 
Okay, yeah, I could afford to over. Quick save. Now let's use this on this guard. Now let's actually hit the guard. So he's paralyzed. But he doesn't die from it. So he has more than 100 health. That, now he died. See, he has a lightsaber now. I also have, um, Obscuro's Oblivion Overhaul. Do I have a bounty for that? Yeah, I do. Tried a few more spells while I'm being bountied. This, this is kind of cool. Let's see, some guard come up to me. Resist. Then pay with your blood. Boom. Now he's on my team. Oh, well, he usually is. Fine, I'm forced to do it. See, overpoweredness activate. Do I have my knife out? I have a mod that makes you regen health if your weapon is not out. Yeah, you see how overpowered that is. He just died. Like, I could just sit here and murder everyone. But let's not. Let's not. I'll stick with over expensive fireball. I need it to be day. Oh, yeah. What the heck? It even turned that into a lightsaber? Oh, over here, it didn't. Dark Flame Sword and Shield. It turned it into a lightsaber. Let's see. That's cool. This might be my weapon of choice. Who needs healing? I can have an awesome lightsaber. Now I am truly a Sith Lord. Okay, I'm not going to use the shield. Counts as armor. I would have better cities on, but that kills my FPS even when I'm not recording. Let's see. This will also probably be an hour long. I'm not sure what time I started recording this. I'm going to say I started recording it at 11.20. So, at 12.20... I'm going to stop. Hammer. So you get some pretty interesting stuff from there. I need to go to the bloated float. Oh, cool. Let's see. This, not this. That song is stuck in my head. Also, a thing about the GUI is it shows the, um, bar. But also, if I unequip this, my fist now have a bar. I did have the, um, share mod. The thing where you could recruit pretty much any NPC to your cause. But it was glitching out. And they just started randomly attacking things. So I got rid of it. I had the partners mod that started doing weird stuff. Um, the partners wouldn't listen to me. So I got rid of that. Oh, and it wasn't letting me start up the game. Show your respect for the Imperial. Something or other. I also need to go to the Temple District. Where's that Temple Oh, so I have to pass through that. That's good. It's actually very good. What the heck? Sometimes it does that and you have to, like, do that. Yeah. Just really glitchy. That's the price you pay for mods. I'm actually getting better FPS in this than I am in Oblivion. I mean, in, um, Minecraft. So if you guys want an LP of this, tell me. And uh, I will do an LP with the mods I have equipped. And you could put suggestions for mods, and I might add them. Where'd 
Where did I have to go? It was an inn. It was the inn over here. What are you two doing? No. Yeah, you could bribe them. They'll be like, oh, I'll look the other way. No. Jump. 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 I don't know why the inn isn't towards the inner circle. It's part of the outer circle. That much I do know. It's on the right side, so it should be in this next little area. Jump. 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 Cannot sustain magicka effects in your current state. Here it is. Hopefully she'll be here now that I'm not playing the demigod race. Otherwise I'll be quite, quite sad. Is that her? No. This is... Okay, new soldiers. That's just a stupid quest. I don't even know what it's from, but it's stupid. She's supposedly found at this inn. Um, I can't remember her name. And apparently I'm allowed in this room. But not in this one. I food now. I'm a thief in oblivion. I love, I'm like a little kleptomaniac. I have a Banks mod. No, wait. I have a Vaults. Not sure if it has the Banks with it. I am not sure. Okay, this lady that I'm trying to find is nowhere to be seen. I just picked up a pewter or something or other. I have another mod that it makes silverware be able to be weapons. That mod's kind of interesting, but, you know, I don't feel like using it. Because it's just a stupid mod. I mean, if you have a weapon, why use that? Oh, yeah. Tim Spells. I guess I'll quickly show you this. Let me quick save before I do this. Okay, so you teleport here. This guy's kind of, you know, you could kind of break the game with him, too. Because if you put stuff in this chest and clone it, then you could sell it. And this guy has... No greeting, but he also has tons upon tons of money. He has a bunch of interesting spells. This one damages your weapon, but also gives um enchantment. But I already have a spell that does enchantment stuff. Uh, storages. This is a vault thing. Um, f I do have Midas magic, and for that I will be using console because I don't feel like using you know, the legit way. This spell's useful. That spell is really useful, actually. This one's... Oh, I don't have enough gold. Sixty-five? Wanna... Put down a bit? Yeah. There we go. They also have a bunch here. Let's see. Recall to the nearest fighters, mages... Recall my weapon. Yeah, mark it though. Resurrect. That's a cool spell, but it's high restoration cost. Oh, you can craft spells anywhere. Summon a doppelganger. I like that one. An ogre. Never got to use that one except in um, blah, blah, blah. God mode. Telekinetic blast. That one's hilarious. Transfer gold. Transfers another person's gold to you. Pretty much every spell type in the game. And every summon, so you could you so you can make spells with it. Uh, he trains destructions. He's a master trainer. Also repair stuff, everything. If he would stop looking at him, actually, you're allowed to take this stuff. So I could just like yoink. Nothing in there. Glass of time. Okay. Tome of spells tells what all his spells do. Skull. That skull just stared at me. Uh, sleep is a spell that lets you sleep pretty much wherever, no matter what. Tells where all the trainers are. Tells the quest. 
Uh, it tells all the alchemy stuff. Blocks. Tells all the blocks in here. Is he still looking at me? Let's give me the stank eye. Give me the stank eye. Okay, over here. Very cheap, because they're already expensive enough. Uh, I don't care. And very fast. That makes your spells, like, uber fast. Okay, now we can see what he sells. The heck? The boy stares at you and then... What? I don't know what it just said. Oh, he must not be... What? This makes no sense. I don't get it. Uh, let's try the spell again. Oh god, I think that might have messed it up. Yeah, he just stares at you. Oh, don't tell me that messed it up. Oh. Let's hope this works. Oh, see, so see. Where is it? Anvil. Okay, we're just gonna reload that and wait till we get a uh, spell that lets you go wherever you want. Oh god. Where am I? I'm in the plaza district. Ah. Um, let's just travel there. Let's quick travel there for the fun of it. I'm getting nothing done. In an hour, I'm only... Oh yeah, it's harder to level up. You have to level up 30 skills. Any skills. The bloated float. Where's the bloated float? I think it's this boat. Because that's the pirate ship that you have to do for a Dark Brotherhood quest. Which I will be joining. If this becomes a let's play. Wait. What does she have on her? A lightsaber, a mace, pajamas bag, a bunch of gold. Uh, blue extra storage bag, red extra storage bag. Could have that, that, um, that, that. Just give her a giant array of stuff to choose from. That, 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 that. I can always get it back from her. Um, that and that. You can have those, that, that. Uh, well, she'll never be able to complain about never having anything to wear. That's for sure. You can have some apples. Yes. 
I didn't say anything. Well, what just happened? Let's see. I got a spell from her. Okay. It's kind of cool. Let's go. What's the quest? She needs ingredients. Help. Um. Let's go do this. I will travel here, though. Just not handy stables. Because I need some money on the way. Actually, I have a way that will give me some money. Money, 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 money. Here. 